Welcome to CSA Guru. Next, comparison between pre-test and post-test loop. Already, we have discussed the concept of pre-test and post-test loops. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. Now, in this session, we will discuss the comparison between pre-test and post-test loops. Pre-test loop, since the condition will be tested first itself, it is also called top testing loop. And since the condition is tested first, and only if the condition is evaluated to true only, the body of the loop will execute. So, it is also called entry control loop. And if you are considering the post-test loop, this post-test loop will execute by default body of the loop once. And after executing, at the bottom of the loop only, the condition will be evaluated. That is the loop control expression will be evaluated. And if the loop control expression is evaluated to true means, then the body of the loop will execute one more time. And this process continues. So, since the loop control expression is tested at the bottom of the loop, that is after the body of the loop, this post-test loop is also called bottom testing loop. And it is also called exit controlled loop. That is, at the bottom of the loop, it will test the loop control expression and when it is evaluated to false means, loop will exit. So, it is also called exit control loop. And the next difference if we are considering in pre-test loop, it will test the loop control expression first itself. If the loop control expression is evaluated to true means, it will execute the looping status. That is nothing but the body of the loop. And if the control expression is evaluated to false means, loop will exit. So, only when the loop control expression is evaluated to true, the body of the loop will execute one time. And if you are considering the post-test loop, it will execute the looping statement, that is the body of the loop, once. By default, one time body of the loop will execute. After executing the body of the loop one time, the loop control expression will be tested and if the condition is evaluated to true again the body of the loop will execute and if the condition is evaluated to false means loop will exit that is it will terminate and the next difference is since in pre-test loop first itself loop control expression will be tested and only when the condition is evaluated to true only body of the loop will execute one time. Suppose first itself when the loop control expression is evaluated to false means body of the loop will not execute at all. That is the body of the loop will execute zero time. So this is the minimum execution of the body of the loop. And until the condition is evaluated to true, it will execute more time. So, body of the loop executes zero or more time. And in post-test loop, if you are considering, by default, one time the body of the loop will execute. So, minimum execution of body of the loop is one time. And until the condition is evaluated to true, it will execute one or more times. So, here body of the loop will execute zero or more times. And here the body of the loop will execute one or more times. And example for pre-test loop is for loop and while loop. Example for post-test loop is to while loop. So this is the comparison between pre-test and post-test loop. Thank you for watching this video.